Hey everyone, got another video here for you. Another weekly roundup. Where I went, what I saw, and um, some of the things we experienced. Done on something a little bit different this time, and I was able to uh, capture a little bit of video in some of the places that we were at. Nothing really exciting, but uh, maybe something just to add to the video a little bit. So as usual, I started off here in Pittsburgh, and um, it was cold morning, but uh, I didn't. I had a late start. Didn't have to leave until I would say around noon. But uh, here's a little quick video of what it looked like walking up to the airport where I parked my car. All right, got the car parked. Go here and get a ride to the terminal. Woo. It is cold and shit. And icy, apparently. So here we go. The start of a fun week. So we get over to the terminal and I hop on a uh, trusty Delta Airlines. And I fly from uh, Pittsburgh to Atlanta and then uh, catch a plane there and change planes there. Head on down to Mobile. Landed in Mobile about 7 o'clock and uh, it was nice and warm. Although they did have, uh, um, had had ice and snow the previous week and the cab driver who took me to the hotel was saying how pretty much the whole place was shut down as they don't uh, do well with uh, snow and ice and Alabama, apparently. <laughs> so we didn't do anything that day. We both got in late. <clears throat> the plane got in late, actually. And um, so the next morning we got up, uh, I think, uh, about 7 a.m. And we took off and repositioned empty up to, that's right, our favorite place. We know it and we love it. It is Teterboro, which is going to be right around in, uh, do, 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 do. well, we're going to call it right there. I can, we're not going to zoom in for it. Close enough. Whoops. Um, so that was Mobile to Teterboro. It got into Teterboro and it looked something like this. So we got uh, passengers loaded up, we got uh, de-iced, and we um, headed on down to, whoops, uh, headed on down to, from Teterboro to Naples, is that right? Teterboro to Naples, yep. So we got down to Naples, which is uh, right around there. Yeah, we got there at, what time did we, we landed in Naples at about 3.45 in the afternoon, and um, thought we were done, and uh, just as we're starting to kind of wind down and close things up, we get a call from um, our dispatchers that they need us to reposition to um, Dallas Love Airport for a trip in the morning. So we did. We repositioned to Dallas, got into Dallas right about 7 o'clock local time. And we had uh, about a 6 o'clock departure in the morning. So it was a minimum rest night um, for us. And uh, But that's okay. We don't do all that often, but occasionally you got to do it. We can live with it. Um, APF to Dallas. And then next morning we uh, picked up some folks. And we went... Um, back up into cold weather which was in uh, Bedford, Massachusetts which is oops, well, that's not exactly where it is, but we're going to call it there um where it's not giving me a uh, a line Bedford, Massachusetts so we uh, dropped off those passengers and we hung around for, uh, actually, no, we took that, um, a passenger up there from Dallas, and we waited around for quite some time, I want to say about six hours. And from there, we took them over to uh, Ithaca, New York, at about 4.15. As a quick flight, it was, um, I don't know, 50 minutes or so. And um, Ithaca, New York, which is... Uh, doo -doo 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 about there 
Now, we coming into Ithaca, it was a little bit of snow showers, and we get the Aedis, and there was, uh, they were calling some snow, dry snow on the runway, and sure enough, we broke out, and the runway was relatively white, but the braking action reports were all good. Um, Mews were 35, 35, and 40, I believe, and um, we touched down, and it was, like I say, powdery snow, the braking, and we didn't have any issues at all. We didn't, sli- we didn't slip at all, um, and as we were sitting there, they... Uh, Went out with the with the broom truck and we're brooming everything. So when we took off, they actually had it pretty much cleared off. But here's a little quick video of what it looked like on the ramp there in um, in Ithaca. So we uh, actually we didn't need any services there. We didn't need any fuel or anything so we uh repositioned um right back down to tdbro <laughs> for some uh for some scheduled maintenance uh we're done there had the night and next morning we had a miami turn as we call it meaning we were leaving one airport going to another airport turn around and going back to the same airport so kind of like airlines do that we don't really call it that but <laughs> it felt like an airline so we left Miami, or excuse me, Teterboro at, uh, it was late departure, it was like 12.15 in the afternoon, and repositioned down to um, Miami, and picked up, uh, I want to say it was about four people, yeah, I think it was, and when we landed in Miami, it looked something like this. So we get our passers, we get our fuel, and we get on our way. We left Miami and went right back up to, I'm going to draw that off just a little bit so you can see the difference. Um, that was Miami to Teterboro. Now that morning when we left um, Teterboro, it was um, snowing and icy. I forgot to show you that video, so here's that here's that video of the morning. And yes, I think it is going to snow. So we got in there and um, spent the night once again, and then the next day we had a uh, reposition leg, a pretty long one, <laughs> four and a half hours, I believe it was, from Teterboro down to Austin, Texas. We have brutal headwinds. It's lovely New Jersey this morning. Yeah. Should be a nice, entertaining trip getting out of here with all the snow. Although it looks like it's supposed to stop soon. So yeah, this is what we get to do this morning. Well, the good news is we're leaving here, Teterboro, going to Austin, Texas, and then to Las Vegas, New Mexico. And um, that makes it no fun when you have to go that far on a reposition leg. But eh, sometimes that's what you got to do. So we got down there. We picked up, uh, I can't remember how many, excuse me, how many people we picked up. I think it was three or four. And from, um, from Austin, we took them to Las Vegas. And uh, that was, uh, how long? Uh, that was right at three hours. Got into Vegas, dropped off our people, hung around for a few minutes. We had a couple little maintenance items that needed addressed. I mean, like really small things. And had those uh, taken care of. And then we headed down to um, Carlsbad, which is just north of San Diego, um, to spend the night. And Carlsbad right there. So, so we can grab our line down here to Carlsbad. And uh, what did we do there? We got in. It was pretty early. Well, it was exactly, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it was 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock Pacific time. And uh, went out and had a nice dinner and then uh, had an early go the next morning. I think it was, uh, what time? 7 
yeah, 7 a.m. Uh, departure. And I think it was uh, actually just one person. We took uh, one person at 7 a.m. to uh, Eagle, Colorado. <clears throat> the weather in Eagle was pretty decent. I think we had to shoot the approach, but we had the airport in sight once we uh, pretty much came over the VOR there. Um, there's Vail. There's the uh, airport out there. Gypsum, Carbondale, Linwood Springs. I'm not exactly sure. Eagle, maybe it's right there. We'll call that the airport. Um, that was uh, CRQ to Eagle. Now, we had a trip. They wanted us to hang around there for a few hours and then reposition over to Aspen. The forecast for Aspen was for the winds to pick up in the um, later in the afternoon uh, out of the northwest, uh, gusting to 20 or 18 to 20. And um, since Aspen, we can only land coming in from the northwest, and we take off to the um, north northwest. We land southeast, sorry, <laughs> to part northwest. Um, we can't land with more than a 10-knot tailwind, so it would behooved us to go ahead and head over to Aspen at that moment when the winds were calm, so we did. And we landed over there, and the winds were, were calm. So didn't have any issue. But then we ended up having to hang around for a few hours, um, which is a big deal. We went in. They, had a, they have a little cafeteria there that's got really good food. And so we um, had lunch and waited around for a few hours. Sorry for the wind, but for those who are wondering, uh, this is Aspen, Colorado. The runway is right there in front of those airplanes. And then uh, where we park is right here, and then there's a little FBO down there. And you can see the radar up there on top of the mountain. Yeah, it's pretty nice here. A little chilly today. It's about zero degrees Cel or, uh, Fahrenheit. Or, excuse me. Celsius. And uh, the wind's supposed to pick up this afternoon, so we got here a little bit early because uh, it'll be a tailwind for landing and we can only have a 10 knot tailwind. And it's gusting up, the forecast is to gust 18. So we came in early before the winds picked up. And picked up our, I think it was four passengers, it was family, two adults and two young kids, and flew them down to um, Santa Monica, California which is whoa, uh, just north of Los Angeles. So, uh, whoa, where are you going? Come back here. Well, right there. Santa Monica. Boop. And we spent the night. Now, my partner actually went home that day. Or that evening, he flew, took a red eye. And then the next day, um, I had another guy come in to fly with me. And, um, so I ended up with, uh, pretty much the day off, but we had a late flight. It was, uh, well, it turned out too bad. Um, it was supposed to be an 8.30 departure, 8.30 at night, um, leaving, uh, Santa Monica for Dallas. And generally that flight's about three hours for us, but because of the tailwinds we had, it was, uh, they were showing two hours of 44, and uh, with some shortcuts we got and uh, a few other little things to try to hurry the situation for our passenger, we were able to do it in less than uh, about two hours and 35 minutes. So that was pretty good. Ended up landing in Dallas at uh, uh, about just before 1 a.m. local time. So it was, it was pretty good. Just got to the hotel, and then uh, there was somebody there to replace me because that was my last day. And then, uh, well, the next day is my last day, so... After I got my rest, they had me airlines from Dallas and going back up to Teterboro. And I got into, or excuse me, Teterboro, <laughs> to Pittsburgh. I got in there around pretty early, six, I want to say. Not bad. So that was my tour. That's what it looked like. It was a lot of, you know, two and a half, three hour legs. Not a lot of hopping around. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything, any terminology I'm using or any, some of the rules we have to follow, be sure to ask them. I'd love to answer them. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. But if you like the little difference, what I've done there with adding the clips, let me know. And if there's anything else you want to see, let me know. All right? Take care. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.